boarding pass? 81 passengers board Southern Airways Flight 242, a DC-9 bound for Atlanta, Georgia. Before their last takeoff, the crew was handed a weather report for the airports along their route. The DC-9 was introduced in 1965 to fly frequent short flights. Both of its engines are mounted to the rear fuselage rather than the wings. It was designed for takeoff on shorter runways. South. Skies have been smooth all afternoon, but the weather's worsening. The flight crew is prepared for turbulence. At 3.54 p.m., the DC-9 takes off into a hard rain. The short hop to Atlanta should take just 25 minutes. As Southern Airways 242 flies away from Huntsville, the National Weather Service tracks weather that's far worse than the pilots expect. Tornadoes are touching down all across the south. The weather in the southeast in the United States can be very treacherous. High humidities, high temperatures are a prescription for thunderstorms. And so with all of that kind of moisture in the air and the high convective heating, you're going to have very large thunderstorms that are associated with heavy rains, hail, icing conditions, and extreme winds. And of course, tornadoes that will be spawned from that kind of action. Huntsville Air Traffic Control has some concerns about the gathering storm. Southern Airways 242, I'm painting a line of weather which appears to be moderate to possibly heavy precipitation. In 1977, most airliners are equipped with the Bendix weather radar. Pilots are trained to avoid regions that appear bright. Where there's light, there's bad weather. The pilots spot a dark area on their radar, a passageway through the storm. They plan to navigate between towering thunderheads over 14,000 meters. We can go. But as they head towards the storm system, they get an ominous report from Memphis Air Traffic Control. Attention, all aircraft. Sigmet, Tennessee, Southern Louisiana, Mississippi. Sigmet is short for significant meteorological information. A warning to pilots that dangerous weather is in the region. Yep. The storm suddenly gets much worse. Hail the size of baseballs hammers the DC-9, breaking the plane's windshield. The plane loses all electrical power. After 36 seconds in the dark, power returns. The instruments come alive and the radio begins working again. Get it up there.